What am I loosely planning to read for the month of April? Stay tuned and find out. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books and today I've got my loose April TBR. What I mean by that is, I usually make a TBR video and I follow it like 80-90%. So some of these might not get read, but I plan to read a good chunk of them. Because I hope to. So if you like videos like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Write down some books you're planning to read down in the comments for the month of April. Some stuff you're excited for, some new releases, let me know. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise let's, uh, let's get to the list. Alright, the first book up is the classic I'm choosing for the month. And that is Catch Me If You Can, Frank W. Abagnale. So this is, I think, based on a true story uh, about a guy who pretty much conned millions of dollars. I think it's, yeah, $2.5 million in forged checks. And they made a movie about this with Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hanks, which is a really good film, and Christopher Walken's in it too. But pretty much that's what that's, this book is pretty much about, is like the story of him conning numerous banks to get a crap ton of money. And they end up, in the end of the movie, which I don't know if it's the same as the book, they end up like using him like with the police force to like catch forged checks. And I don't know if that's how the book's going to go, but we'll find out. So there you have Catch Me If You Can. Next one I'm going to talk about is an arc by Darcy Coates, which is called The Whispering Dead. So this is not for sale until May, but I am planning to read this for the month of April. Uh, I have read Dead Lake by her. I think I gave that three and a half stars, possibly four, um, as well as Gillespie House, which I gave four stars. So, so far she's been a pretty solid author for me, and this is her new release, obviously. It comes out in May. And this is about a woman who is pretty much homeless, and she, like, seeks refuge in, like, a cemetery. And she sees this, like, a ghost, and then a bunch of weird crap kind of starts happening. So, I'm very anxious to get to that, because it's Darcy Coates. So far, she's two for two for me. So, we'll see if I enjoy this one. I'm This is one of my most anticipated reads for 2021, which, if you have not seen that video, we'll have that up here if you want to take a look at that. Um, so far for Anticipated Reach of 2021, I think I'm one for two. Later was a solid one, and the, uh, the Lost Village was not too good for me. So hopefully this one can be putting me back on the right track. So there you have The Whispering Dead by Darcy Coates. Next up is The Shuddering by Anya Alborn. I read Brother by her, and that was probably... The problem I'm having with 2021 is I've had, I've had a lot of surprising, really good books this year, so it's going to be tough to make like my end. I'm like it's only April, and I'm already like going to have a tough time making like my top books for the year. So, yay! Um, but I read Brother by Anya Alborn before, and I gave it five stars. It's a really good fucking book, and I'm going to try this one, which is called The Shuddering. And what got me hooked on it a is the cover because it looks really cool. And the, the blurb on the back says, they only come when it snows and nobody ever gets away. So I'm very intrigued with that. A, I love snow. And B, that sounds creepy as hell. So I'm all on board for The Shuddering by Anya Alborn. So there you have The Shuddering by Anya Alborn. Next book I'm going to talk about is Jack and Jill by Keelan Patrick Burke. I have loved everything I've read by Keelan Patrick Burke. I have read... Sour Candy, The House on Abigail Lane, The Turtle Boy, uh, Blanky. I think those are the four I've read, and all of them have been four stars or better. So, Keelan Patrick Burke has been, and I've said this numerous times in my past couple of videos, he has been the short story god for me lately. So, I'm going to give this one a read. Hopefully, it follows through like the rest of them. I do have a lot more i got to read from him. I actually, we just ordered, I think, a couple uh, from him. Not like from him, but we ordered a couple more of his books, and I can't wait to get to those as well because he's been a really good author for me. So, there you have Jack and Jill, Kaelin Patrick Burke. The next book I'm going to talk about is a Danielle pick, which I actually think sounds pretty interesting. It's my It's a thriller. And it's The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. So, 
by what I understand about this one is a group of friends meet up once a week, I'm going to presume on Thursday, that they discuss old crimes that are like unsolved and then one day in the town that they live in a murder occurs, so it's like local by them, and they got to try and figure it out. That's pretty much all I really know about it, uh, and that's all I really need to know about it. So. This is the Danielle pick, and I'm actually excited to get to it because she's picked some gems her last couple of picks for me. So there you have the Thursday Murder Club. Next up is The Night Sister by Jennifer McMahon. I have read two books by her so far. The Drowning Kind, which was released this year. I think I gave it four stars. I don't know if there was a point something in there, but I know I gave it four something. Um, and then The Winter People, which just like Brother by Anya Alborn, has been a surprise book for 2021 and I couldn't be more upset because I'm having a tough time trying to find my favorite book so far this year. I gave that one five stars. So this is The Night Sister. This is another one by her. Uh, there's a couple more by her obviously that I'm going to read eventually. But this is the pick for April so I don't know anything about it. And that's usually how I like going into authors books that I have read before because I know I like them. I don't want to know anything about it. I just want to go into it and just be like yeah, they're still pretty solid. So there you have The Night Sister by Jennifer McMahon. All right, I know what you're thinking. All these books, where's Stephen King? He's coming. He's right here. Next book I'm going to talk about is Gerald's Game uh, by Stephen King. So by what I know about this, this is about a woman who gets handcuffed to a bed. And the guy she's with is trying to do some, like, you know, trying to get funky in the bedroom. Then he has a heart attack and he dies, and she's handcuffed to a bed. And I want to say the story is just told in one place, just the bedroom. Um, I think she's got like apparitions of like other areas, like in her head. But I pretty much know that it's just a woman handcuffed to a bed, and she starts seeing some shit. Um, this was supposed to be like hand in hand with uh, Dolores Claiborne, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it ended up being split into two different books, and we got Gerald's game out of it. So. I'm going to give this a read this month. I hope I will enjoy it. Yeah, there you have uh, Gerald's Game. The last book I'm, well, it's a collection, but the last thing I'm planning to read or loosely trying to read this month is The Rest of Four Past Midnight. So this is a short story collection. It's got four stories in it. The Langoliers, which I've read, and I think I gave it four stars. Uh, it's got Secret Window, Secret Garden. Uh, the Library Policeman, and The Sun Dog, which I've read The Sun Dog as well. And I gave that, I think, three and a half, four stars. The Langoliers and Sun Dog were pretty even. Secret Window, Secret Garden is one I still have to read, uh, which was made w into a movie, which if you follow me on Instagram, which those are going to be posted down below, so please give us a follow on both of our Instagrams. Also the podcast Instagram. I had watched Secret Window recently, but I think, by what I know, the book and the movie are... I don't want to say very different, but they're different. Um, same concept. And then the library policeman, I really don't know anything about, but a good amount of people actually say they really enjoy that story. And besides the Langoliers, it's one of their favorite stories in Four Past Midnight. So I'm going to read the rest of those at some point this month, hopefully. And then I'll be done with Four Past Midnight. This will be, I think, my third full collection done. Or fourth. I don't know. I'm losing track. But there you have four past midnight. All right, guys. So this is loosely what I'm trying to read for the month of April. Obviously, there are other books I want to try and read for the month, whether they're add-ons from this or if it's something I happen to not have gotten to for February that I will try and get to this month. I'm just planning to read as much as I can, and these are part of my goals for the month. So what are some books you're anxious to get to this month? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.